Are you good? If not, let's get good. It's Monday night, and that means I am playing Spells with Friends with Merrick of Merrick Gaming. And tonight we are testing out a couple of different decks. This one's not my favorite out of the three, but it's definitely decent. Oh, great. Merrick managed to get one of the new heroes. <laughs> and it's the one that we all decided wasn't great. So let's see how that works out. Um, let's charge our order level. We're trying to get to these guys. They've been changed, so they no longer cost mana to have ranged. And we'll use Alexa's ability to go ahead and make a militia unit right off the bat. Alright, that should be good. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I like the hero that Merrick has. I was actually considering building something with this and Disciple of Zash, because with Disciple of Zash you can guarantee that the turn that you play your Raven you deal damage. Unfortunately, the fact that you can only activate that once every two turns still makes that seem like a really crappy way to play it. Uh, let's see. Soldier's Memorial or Haunted Cemetery. Let's go Soldier's Memorial. And then we'll put down the Dwarven Musketeer, or Dwarf Musketeer, and swing in with our Militia. Aha, we've hit you for one. Now the world is ours. <laughs> Sorry, my humor might be a little bit deadpan. I am completely exhausted. I have been doing double videos all week because of a beta. And, oi, I'm just tired. I actually passed out editing at my computer last night. So if Merrick beats me, it's totally because of that. It's not because I'm terrible at the game and he's getting much better. <laughs> I just rolled my eyes at myself. That's wonderful. That is how exhausted I am. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, let's see what he's doing. He gave himself an extra mana crystal. I'm not sure what the trick he's going to try with this is. So far we haven't actually seen anything that tells us what the deck is doing. Well, maybe it's ramping. Maybe that's the uh, goal, is to get mana crystals down. Why, Dread Knights? I don't need two of you. I honestly don't need any of you. I'm not sure why I put you in this deck. Let's go ahead and grab that. And pop an Order Shrine for mana. I guess Steel Host Spearman. We could save two for Pacify, but there's no threats, so I'm just going to make another Militia. And then we will come in for some damage. And that was good. Sorry about that, guys. I had to uh, blow my nose. We're actually recording in the morning. We normally record this at night, but because I had so much crap going on and some stuff came up, we are recording in the morning, so I'm a little more congested. I have allergies, and they suck. Okay, so that's an interesting play. We did get... We have the... Steelhost Spearman to take out the Spoiled Aristocrat, which makes that kind of fun. Like, I'm actually not worried about that at all. However, that Thunderstorm Titan, oof, that thing is scary. Um, let's see, we need to charge another level. Or do we? Actually, if we just leave two mana up, we can pacify the Thunderstorm Titan off the board. So I'm not sure, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. And we'll go ahead and gain a skill. And I'm not sure if I... Uh, whatever. Um, let's do this. Let's just pass the turn. Yeah, I think we'll pass. We will pass, and we will get the advantage next turn. Come on. Go for it, Merrick. Swing, swing. Let me steal host Spearman, that guy. He's not going to do that. Merrick's not terrible. This is not a computer AI. <laughs> um, I think he... Probably will push him with the Thunderstorm Titan, though, and if he does, we can pacify it off the board, and that eliminates that threat. And then we can use our Dwarf Musketeer to take out the Spoiled Aristocrat. 
Or he can play another Thunderstorm Titan. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think no. And that didn't... I mean, we're still in a bad spot. He still has another... He has literally the same board that he had last turn, and we're not any better off than we were. Um, let's see. I guess we could do something like... That? Oh, that seems bad. I think what we're going to do, we're just going to have to bite the bullet on this one, and I think what we're going to... Oh, we can't, because I don't have a corruption level. That is exactly absolute crap. And there's no way for me to, uh, to get a piece of him with that militia. I guess I could pull him back for a turn, but that seems just as bad. Ugh, what do I do? What do I do? I should have played a corruption level this turn. I'm going to lose now. I'm just going to pass. At least if he does attack the Dwarf Musketeer. Yeah, Dwarf Musketeer. Then I can Noxious Fumes and kill off the Thunderstorm Titan. That would be rather entertaining. Come on, come on. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just going to get hosed. That's what's going to happen. Of course, the ranged guy. Who sucks? Uh, let's see. In he comes. And we can't Noxious because I didn't play the Corruption level, so he's just going to die because I'm bad at this game. And that is the beginning of the end, folks. I hate to say it, but like the thing is, with most card games like this, it really does. It just comes down to who makes the first mistake. And it was me, guys. I made a huge mistake. And it's going to cost us probably the entire game. Um, no. Maybe. Do we want to throw the Undead Hydra down? We could also buff that guy. Uh, actually, I kind of like that idea. Let's go ahead and buff this guy and make him a 2-2. That'll give us Noxious Fumes so that if we need to, we should be able to kill anything by blocking with him. And can we... Yeah, we can play Knight Escort and keep Noxious Fumes up, so that's what we're going to do. And the turn, let's see what happens. Man, am I taking longer to, to play this? Stop taking focus. Hangouts. Google Hangouts is getting on my nerves lately. It seems to want to take focus from everything. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so he's coming here, and we should be able to kill that guy off fairly easily. That guy's ranged and will bounce back unless he pays, so we might just want to leave him be. And instead take out one of these guys with him. Why can I not play Noxious? I have the mana. I don't understand. Oh, wait, it must be after I... I think it's after I declare blockers. Sorry. No, it's not. I just couldn't play... Oh, that's right, because Noxious is an instant speed. Whoops. Well, there you go. Even when I think I might not have botched, I have, in fact, botched. Ugh. I need to spend, like, a week sleeping in a coma so that I can get back into the swing of things. Um, we could take him out right now anyway, but that's not going to be great. Sure, we'll just play that guy, because we've, we've basically already lost this game. I have accepted that we have lost this game. I'm not too upset about it, because this isn't one of the decks that I'm super happy with. It's just something I was sort of playing with. It was trying to sort of play value white and black, and it just doesn't work great. Oh, he's got Spirit Ravens out. That's great. Um, flying, lifebound, summoned, 1-2. But that's what I mean. Like, he's got one out that is a 1-2, so for the rest of this game, this guy's ability is basically nothing. Like, he, he's done it once and had good effect from it. I think if you're running, like, the new Despina that only requires two mana to fill all your mana crystals up, you're way better off. Did he just do that? I guess. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I can't do anything that'll interact with it anyway, so whatever. Come on, Merrick, crush in. <laughs> this is a foregone conclusion. I have accepted the loss. I do not have the energy to try to pull this one out. Because all I can do now is swing into a wall of dudes and lose. You know, one of the changes that they did make in the latest update that really bugs me is I, 
I do not understand the reason why Cataclysm is 6 mana. I don't think that it was broken at 4 mana. I think at 4 mana it was perfect on curve for like control decks to be able to take a beating for a while and then turn things around. But at 6 mana, it's just bad. Like at 6 mana, you're if you're playing a control deck that's not running a ton of bodies and you're trying to do something kind of fun, you're just going to end up getting killed by the time you can play it. So it just, I don't know. I'm not happy with what they did with Cataclysm. I agree with almost all the other changes they made, but the changes to Cataclysm suck. Um, die. Die, 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 die. It's weird, too, because a lot of the other color stuff got cheaper, but Cataclysm got expensiver because it kills everything, so it's broken. It kills your stuff, too, so it's not broken. I don't know. I haven't played that much in competitive and ranked. Maybe somebody was running wild with four-cost cataclysms. I'm not sure how that works, because you wipe your own board, so you can't really run wild with it. But I'm guessing they balanced it for some reason. There has to be some little trick. Oh, you know what? I bet you that it was, uh, it was balanced to sort of counteract what they did with Despina. That's probably what it is. They probably had people like... Yeah, that's probably what it is. They probably had people nuking the board and then using Despina's ability and dropping a bunch of stuff. Which I thought was kind of a theme for those colors, so... <laughs> Can you just kill me now, Merrick? I don't have a rat's chance in hell, and I'm not even... You know, I'm done. I got nothing. I got a useless Dread Knight that doesn't do shark. Uh, let's see, what do you got? Yay, can't get another freaking Corruption. But I can Noxious Fumes twice. Sorry about that, guys. Once again, those allergies. Them allergies. Okay, what do we got? Nothing. We're gonna lose. Come on, just finish me, Merrick. Swing with everything. <laughs> this game has gone on long enough. I don't want to resign, so just crush me, because I don't want to take the win away from you like that, because that's kind of weak. Okay. Board, 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 swing with the board, come on. Finish it. Why, why is this guy hanging back? I don't have anything. This deck is absolutely terrible. <laughs> I think Merrick feels bad about beating on the uh, sleep handicap. Um, why not? We can do this, and it's stupid, and it won't do anything, so let's do it. <laughs> let's just kill two guys and get a zombie that's not going to help. Yay! We made a zombie! Job complete, guys. We did it. We made a zombie, and now we're going to die. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, crush in. Uh, yeah. Just make sure you hit me with everything else, please. Thank you. Okay, so he finished me off with the Soul Ravens, but once again, like, he's got two, well, three Soul Ravens. They got pumped twice. Would have got pumped a third time there. Still doesn't seem very powerful at all. Alright, let's, uh, switch decks and we'll move on to game two. Now I'm going to take a deck I'm much more comfortable with for the next one. Not sure if I want to go that way or this way. I think I want to go this way. This deck is kind of fun, and I think we'll get a kick out of it. And Merrick is ready, so let's send out the invite. Okay, what do we got hand-wise? It's not great, to be honest. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Let's draw again. That's a little bit better. I actually like that hand a lot. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Drayla. And we have this, so we can possibly put down this guy or this guy turn one. I think we'll probably put down Power Seeker turn one. Oh boy, he's got the guy that lets him swing twice. Okay. So obviously Merrick has grabbed all of the new heroes that I unfortunately do not have access yet, uh, access to yet, because I haven't had time to, to grind them out, essentially. 
I'm not complaining about that. I think it's kind of cool. I'm actually kind of excited to see how they work. I don't think the uh, Dominion Hero was too impressive. I think that was more of a case of me being completely unimpressive. This guy, though, this guy is definitely a concern. That ability to trigger a second combat phase, I believe they're calling this the... Nope, that's the combat. That's the deploy phase. Oh, okay, yeah, so... Reinforce... I guess if you activate it during the reinforce phase... Weird. Yeah, it must be that you activate it during the reinforce phase to get the uh, trigger so that you can swing a second time. And we can go in for two. Yeah, let's do that. Power Seeker get bigger. I love Power Seeker. Power Seeker is like one of my favorite cards in this game just because he's got so much value inherent. Alright, pass the turn. He's also a mana sink, don't, don't get me wrong, but at the upside of it, like, I didn't have anything else I could play there that turn anyway. Oh, yay, lovely. That sucked. Okay, do we have a way to kill that guy? If we do, that'll be great, and we do, which is awesome. Bye-bye. We're not going to lose Power Seeker like that, sorry. Oh, so he's going green and white. So that means that uh, he's probably planning on dropping a whole bunch of elves and then, like, double rage swinging. We should have this pretty much on lock right now, though. I mean, board control being what it is. Okay, he got that guy down. That's not a super big threat to us, because what we're going to do is probably just pump this guy over him. He did leave himself one mana, which means he could have the plus two, plus two, and lifeblood. I would hope that is not the case, but we're only going to find out one way. Uh, we want to save the corruption because we definitely need another... Ooh, wait a minute. Do I smell victory? I smell victory. Okay, let's do this. Corruption, kill. Yeah, no, no. No guys, sorry. I didn't get to swing that turn, but it is a worthwhile sacrifice because we did get to clear his board. And another guy and another guy. Awesome. You go, Merrick. You play all those guys. Um, let's see. We want to get up to five mana so we can start Infernal Tributing, but if we get to three, we can play her too. Let's put that down. Ooh, Gnome Surgeon is a maybe? And we don't have a one-cost card. To, well, we could pop this and then hit her ability, but that would literally give us, what, three extra mana? I don't know that that is entirely worth it. Yeah, because it's not going to be enough to do much, I don't think. Well, actually... Yeah, no, let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's make that work. It is going to put this on cooldown for four turns, but that's kind of whatever. Put another mana into him, which makes him a 2-3. Now, I could swing here at the lifeblood guy, but he's just going to block with this guy anyway. So let's just... Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Maybe he'll take it, or maybe he will swap it. And then after that, we still have two mana left, so we will be able to play Infernal Vultures or Gnome Surgeon. I think we'll probably play Gnome Surgeon, actually. Originally, I built this deck to be a mill deck, but when I played it in practice, like Dreadful Nightmares became much, much more useful to mill myself and set the top card. So that is what I'll be trying to do, which is why I'm putting out the Gnome Surgeon first, because that means next turn we can use his effect and go grab something silly and put it on him. And we also have another Corruption Shrine that we can use to activate. Well, we could put her down next turn. I don't know. I think we'll actually end up doing this next turn, maybe, or just pumping the crap out of this guy after putting a sweet armor on him. But we are going to be putting the plus three, plus three, and unstoppable armor on this guy, and then we'll just pump him and rage in. Oh, lovely. I hate that card so much. And he's got a bounce card coming up that will return a creature to its owner's hand, so we are not going to put that equipment on. Oh, he's going to kill this guy. Oops, I botched up. I should have moved him to the back row. Whatever. It is what it is. He's dead. I got it. He's got a bounce that's coming. That's not going to be super fun. 
Okay, that seems like slightly wasted. How many turns is the cooldown on that? Three turns. Yeah, I guess it's not super wasted, but it wasn't the best play, I don't think. Do we hit this so that we draw cards? Because I think we need to draw cards right now. Oh, nice. We did draw a card. Uh, and it is a good card. Let's kill this guy just because we can. And actually, let's get rid of his uh, bounce card. No bounce cards for you. No bounce cards. He does get a venerated unicorn now. I don't really care about that too much. Uh, do I have a creature to put on the bottom? I do. Excellent. There we go. We'll give that guy a little boost. And we can't swing with him, so we'll end. Okay, we are fighting for control of the board. We have a three life... No, we have a one life advantage. Things are just not going great today. Uh, yeah, that sucks. And he's got another one right there that he can also play. That's going to be really crappy for us. Oh, I see what he did. He's not going to play that one because if he does and then we kill one of them, it'll wipe his whole freaking board. And an elf tracker. That's somewhat unfortunate. Here we go. That is definitely good. We have three now, so we can exhaust an enemy with level two or less. We cannot take control of it, though, because none of his guys are that exhausted. And if we swing with this guy, he'll just block here and kill it, so we need something to work. Ooh, interesting. Let's force him to sack a guy and see who he sacrifices. That's about what I figured. And what else can we do with the two that we have? Does this put it on him? It attaches it to the creature. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that, though. Actually, might as well. I can't do much else. Let's grab this guy, and we'll go ahead and put a metabolic overcharger on him. So he's a 5-5 five five now. He's not going to be able to swing till next turn. I probably actually should have waited till next turn, but I wanted to get the maximum use out of our mana that we could. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Force him to sack the elf guy, plays another elf guy. And now all his guys are unblockable, and Venerated Unicorn is going to blow that up. Wonderful. I'm having a really, really crappy day today. <laughs> and this is going to hurt. Lots and lots of guys that are unblockable, and next turn he's going to be able to swing twice. Okay, let's see. We can Infernal Tribute, which is extremely expensive and not helpful right now. We have a Corruption Shrine. That'll give us another mana. What can we do here? That'll cost three to play and six to activate. I think we're basically gonna die next turn, maybe? Frustration is mounting. Much frustration. Much, much anger. Play that. Um, go ahead and do another Metabolic Overcharger on him. I'm just gonna load up on this Zambi and be like, whatever, in. In. Block with everything you got if you want to kill it. Because I can't swing with this guy because of that stupid tracker. And there's no reason to buff him because of that stupid tracker. Wham, bam, eight damage. Okay. I don't think there's really that much potential for us to sort of win like this, but I'm going to keep trying anyway. I want to use her, but she's so expensive. Actually, I just have to wait for him to exhaust something. I'll have seven mana next turn. If he exhausts a creature, I can take control of it. I just have to decide which creature I want to take control of. Did he just draw the pacify? He did not, but he landslid instead, which is even better, because now he's going to bounce my board and I'm going to lose. Uh. Put him on top in any order. How about the order that screws me, because they both do. Yeah. Awesome. And that's, like, stuck there now, which is even better. Yay, for graphical glitches. And he's going to activate a second combat and win right here. Uh, 
I don't even know what to say, guys. <laughs> I wish I had more time to grind into Spellweaver so that I could get some better stuff to test out, but I'm kind of running out of ideas. Like, I literally have run through most of the good ideas in my card base, and now I'm just trying random stuff, and it is not working out quite so well. And, of course, the Elf Tracker was kept nice, safe, and serene, just for this instance. <sighs> I guess we play Drela and take control of that. Not sure how good that will do. Actually, yeah, let's, let's play Drela. I can't even see her. This is freaking great. <sighs> Wonderful. Sometimes bugs just piss me the heck off. I guess I can put him down, and we can go ahead and hit her ability, that'll give us a ton of mana, and then we can come in here, for four we can take control of an exhausted creature, so for four we can grab this guy, oopsie, guess that's not going to help you anymore, um, we have enough mana to save to be able to exhaust the creature next turn, but he's only got to get in for two damage, like, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do that will prevent him from doing that. No, there isn't. Yeah, we're dead. We took control of it, but we're dead. That's fine. Ugh. I am really, really tired. Merrick, congratulations. You have broken my spirit at this point. I just want the pain to end. And, of course, he plays the other... Another copy of the elf that gives unblockable. You know what's really sad, guys? I don't even think I'm going to pull it out in game three this week. I really don't. <laughs> My confidence is shot. Let's... Okay, come on, finish it up. What was that? <laughs> Why are you even attacking? Just... You're unblockable. Why are you attacking dudes? Just finish the game. Oh, okay. There we go. He's... Doing it for the sake of showing that he can, which I completely understand because I used to do the same thing when I wasn't bad at this game. Okay, crush, crush, crush. My broken spirit. Yay. Last deck we have for this week is mainly red with a little splash of white, and it'll probably get slaughtered too, so let's do this. As soon as Merrick's ready, we will begin. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. You can kick my butt quicker. I got things to do. <laughs> Alright. We are diving in. God, the congestion. It is just not my day. Um, okay. That is a playable... That's actually a pretty decent hand. I'm gonna keep that. We have Disciple of Zash. I feel like that card might be our only chance of winning anything because it's so good. Do we want to set up for a Goblin Fireworker? The, we'll set up for the Dwarf Musketeer first. Okay, my turn again. Go ahead and charge a mana. That'll let us get down the Dwarf Musketeer. And then next turn, I'm going to go ahead and charge a rage or a rage level and put down the Disciple. Turn after that, we'll try to do Gibo and Ronnie. So this is basically just like a red-white sort of value deck with little weenie guys. Okay, come in for two. And the dogs are going wild, so sorry, I'm going to have to cut the audio right there. Frickin' dogs. Go in for two. Ugh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's frustrating enough getting beat down twice. It doesn't help when your dogs decide to go crazy during your recording. Can't 
and we've got a guy down who has swift and ranged. Oh, that's going to suck. Okay. Gibo and Ronnie is gone, but we will be able to take the Dwarf Musketeer to the Ambushing Sharpshooter. Uh, go, 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 go. Okay. Another mana. And let's go ahead and put down a another Gibo and Ronnie. I don't even have anything to say at this point, guys. I have nothing left. <laughs> I am exhausted. My dogs are 100% focused on sabotaging this recording session, and Merrick is kicking my ass, so I don't know what to say. I'm just going to go ahead and get my ass kicked again. Let's see. What do we have? Nothing. Nothing magical or wonderful. We do have a fireball, maybe I'll just take that guy out real quick. And then put down a Disciple of Zash. And peg this thing for one. And go in for another two. Alright, let's see what happens. We have cleared the board. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Especially since she has the Swift, but that's off for another two turns. Uh, I am sorry, guys. I'm really not the greatest of entertainers today. <laughs> um, do we want select a card to put it on top of the deck? I wish it would like let you visually stack them in order so that you knew which which one was going to be actually on top. Okay, that worked. And the card is stuck again because wonderful Spellweaver today is just trying to mess with me. Uh, let's put down Dis Disciple of Zash and a Dwarf Musketeer, and we will save that in case we need to plink one of Merrick's creatures next turn. Okay, come on guys, let's see, let's see. What do we got? Oh, and before his end of turn, we're going to plink that for one. Um, we can put this guy down. God, allergies suck. Allergies suck very, very bad. Let's put him down, and him down, and swing with the board. I may actually be able to pull this one out, but I'm not even going to say that, because the minute that I say that, I'm going to lose. There is going to be, like, so much missing audio from this game. It's not even going to be funny the amount of missing audio is going to be ridiculous because of my wonderful, wonderful dogs. Who just have to bark at everything because they're paranoid schizophrenics or something. I don't know. I, ugh, I'm irritated by my dogs. Always irritated by my dogs. And that's wonderful. He's able to force two guys to block that. And yeah, like I said, I'm not going to count... The game won because that. I'm not even sure what exactly happened there. Like, I don't know why he was able to... Oh, okay, that's it. Murder Instinct allows him to force it to block another creature. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If we can get him down to three, though, we can just ability to win. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. Lots of extra attack for all the things. Go in. Did we get it? I think we might have got it. Uh, that'll be six. That'll put him at three. Next turn we win. If he does not kill us this turn, we actually win a game. I am amazed and surprised, especially after everything that has happened this morning. It's been wonderful. Okay, let's see. 
Come on, come on, come on. What do we got? Rage level and win. And I honestly, I feel like Merrick let me win that one because he's sitting on eight mana. He played nothing. So I, I don't know if he figured out that everything was going to hell and just let me have one. Alright guys, that's it for this episode of Spells with Friends. Sorry that everything kind of went to hell. I don't even know what to say. It's just not a great day. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and please game responsibly.